What's up, guys? What's going on? I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. Um, Christmas is almost here. It's it's less than two weeks away. Christmas is literally my <laughs> favorite, favorite time of the year. I'm not even going to go off on a tangent because I can talk about it all day. What I will leave you with before we get into the liquid review is this is the most precious moment of the year to give and to be selfless. So if you can do something good for somebody, do it, okay? Besides that, welcome, guys, to another installment of the Liquid King Chronicles. Of course, guys, I'm your host, the Liquid King, the guy that barely does reviews anymore. But I apologize, but I'm still your mom's favorite paper. So with no further ado, um, I'm going to be reviewing a liquid that I never even thought I would review. Not even a liquid, but a genre of liquid that I never even thought that I would review. So here's what happened about two weeks ago. I'm vaping on soaked custardy and cannoli bee breakfast. And I would say halfway into it, I can't taste shit. I can't taste anything. Um, I switch to a different liquid, can't taste it. I go in the bathroom and I do a coconut oil pull. And what that basically is, is you take coconut oil, it's in a, it's in a, like a peanut butter jar, and you put about a tablespoon in your mouth, you slosh it around for about five to ten minutes, and what it basically does is it pulls all the impurities out of your tongue and, and basically livens up your taste buds. Didn't work. So I go on GV, and I basically ask for help. I, I've seen different methods, but a few people said some crazy shit and some other people said vape menthol when i was a smoker there was nothing in the world that i hated more than a menthol cigarette marlboro smooths camel crushes ugh, newports yeah sorry i don't like menthol I've never liked menthol. I bought 120 cream pop and because it had this cool weird menthol note, I dumped it down the sink. That's that's I I don't I don't like menthol. So, I'm looking through my liquids to even see if I have a menthol and I remember that a buddy of mine that I met at um NVE had basically before August 8th given me um four of his liquids out of his line. And one of them was a menthol. And I was like, dude, come on. You know I'm not going to touch that. And he goes, listen, bro. Listen. When you vape that menthol, you contact me and you let me know. Well, I pulled it out. And I took two pulls off of my Kennedy. Okay, I've got some twisted wire in it. I think it's about six, seven wraps. Um, blew my mind. And it's, it's motivated me to do this review. So, with that being said, okay... Anybody that hates menthols, don't close this video. Listen, okay? So, the name of the, the company we're going to be reviewing today, one of their liquids, is basically, the liquid line is called The Last Machine, okay? The Last Machine consists of six liquids. You've got, um, let me see how I wrote it down here. I've got The Last Rites, okay? OCCBC, A New Day, Peckerwood, The Color Purple, what I'm reviewing today, basically, is Fresh to Death. I've got Fresh to Death in 3 milligram. Look how clean, okay, that is. Look how clean and clear that liquid is for a liquid that has nicotine in it, okay? Um, this is a 6733 VGPG. Why? Because they can, okay? Um, and it's, it's a little bit on the thin side, but it's okay. It gives great cod production and you will see. This is available on Giant Vapes. I never usually shout out names, but I don't know where else to get it from. So you can get it from, uh, giantvapes.com. Comes in zero, three, and six. I think they're working on a formulation for nine milligram. I don't know. 60 ml bottles only. It does not come like this. Okay. I mixed it with a little bit of zero that I had, and I have a three milligram. So this is probably about 2.2 to 2.3 milligrams of nicotine in here because I didn't have much of the um, zero left. This is literally what I poured in here. So 
Retail price is $23.99 for a 60 ml of liquid. So it's it's you can't beat the price. And let me tell you right now, absolutely delicious. Green apple candy, red apple, double kiwi, and a touch of menthol. And it's not a dirty menthol. It's a clean, crisp, cool, refreshing menthol. Liven up your taste buds, pickled ginger, palate cleansing, really, really good liquid. So with no further ado, what we're going to go over basically is overall flavor and accuracy to profile. Um, what we'll then do is go over throat hit, flavor, and if I vape through this, would I repurchase it and have it in my collection? So let's do it. Let's have a vape, shall we? So like I said, clean cotton, ready to rock and roll. Got it loaded up on the Hexone V3. Kennedy, let's turn this up a little bit. Let's have a vape. Amazing, amazing vapor production from this liquid. So, squirt a little bit more inside the Kennedy, but it's it's such a subtle, cool, refreshing flavor. And I have to admit, which I didn't touch base on, it did revive my taste buds, which was kind of funny. So I was able to enjoy dessert liquids. And I realized that I need to bring you guys different liquids besides desserts, desserts, desserts. And I also realized that I don't shit on liquids anymore. That I keep reviewing things I enjoy. I need to come on here and basically tell you stuff that sucks so you don't waste your money on it. I've not done that and I apologize. So basically, first off, when you do take a little whiff of this, you get a green apple candy. Um, almost like a Charms Blow Pop tastes. This is how this smells. Very, very faint kiwi, but the taste is phenomenal. Right off the bat, when you rip this, it opens up my sinuses. Sorry for the snorting. But um, you get this delicious apple flavor. It, you really, really do. It's such a clean, crisp apple flavor which basically keeps me vaping this over and over again definitely an all-day vape um and believe me i can't believe i'm saying this but i like this menthol style liquid and the cool thing is this was formulated for the owner's mother that when she did decide to quit smoking she had a liquid to go to so that, i mean kudos to, to the to one of the owners but um on the exhale you get just a refreshing menthol it's not like it's not i don't know how to explain it you have to try it yourself And for a three milligram or for my 2.5 or whatever, smooth, 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 nasal exhale, mouth exhale, smooth, no throat hit, non-existent, absolutely delicious liquid. Really, really, really good. Would I purchase this again? Absolutely. Absolutely. 100%. This is a liquid that I will keep on deck to where when I need to revive my taste buds or just to enjoy it, plain and simple, it's gonna be in my rotation. And I can't believe I'm saying that. Um, there's really not much else to touch base on. Again, there's six liquids in the collection. We'll do a brief overview of everything. You got Fresh to Death, Last Rites, OCC, BC, A New Day, Peckerwood, and the color purple. 24 bucks, guys, for 60 mils of liquid. 67.33 VGPG split. Available in 60 ml bottles only for less than 50 bucks. And you're able to get yourself a 120 of this. You'll really enjoy it. When your taste buds get fatigued and you can't taste your liquid, switch to fresh to death. Okay? Well, that's it, guys. Um, I will see you guys in a couple days. I'm going to review some Christmas-flavored liquids from OPMH. We're going to be doing noggin very shortly or holiday bark. So you guys let me know in the comments section what you want reviewed, and we will go over the, one of those two. Probably going to do both of them, but which one do you want to see first? Let me know. Um, we, we're over 850. I would love, 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 love to get over 1,000 before the new year. So... Share the shit out of these videos, thumbs up the videos, um, and let me know in the comment section if you have vaped this liquid, what you think about it. Okay, that's pretty much it. I'm going to wrap it up. 
Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love your faces, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. And always in the real world, be kind to one another, and always keep your drip hand strong.